Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to easily make a do-it-yourself PVC boat de-icer. Now the creek behind my house does not freeze all that frequently. Uh, in fact, it's been years since it's been this thick. Uh, but this year we had a few days of, of weather down into the teens and the ice got to be over an inch thick. I decided to make a, a makeshift de-icer. Um, and I just used a water pump, which I had, um, I use it to, to pump out my crawl space occasionally when it floods. And I just uh, took off the hose connecting uh, connection. It pumps vertically, so it pumps hose uh, water straight up. And I just submerged it in the water, and it actually did a pretty decent job. Uh, what I decided to do was to do a couple of modifications that would make that uh, water pump a little bit more efficient as a de-icer. Now you can certainly go out and buy a commercial uh, de-icer, but they can be very expensive. Uh, this pump um, I got for under 100 bucks at Home Depot. You can also find them online. It's a one-sixth horsepower. I'm not saying it's going to last forever. I'm not saying it was made for that. Uh, this is just what I did. I also went online and searched for a garden hose to PVC connection. This is really the only thing that I had to buy. Uh, the rest of the PVC, I actually had some scraps laying around. Uh, that connection was about $5. So I made a vertical pipe, you know, about eight or nine inches long. That's going to come straight up off the top of the pump. And then I wanted to split the direction of the water flow. So I used a three-way connection and then two uh, 45s. So if you can picture it, the water is going to come straight up into that three-way connection and then it's going to get pumped uh, hopefully equally in, in each direction out the 45s. And I just used you know PVC glue uh, to glue everything together. I let that dry. I actually let it dry overnight. That hose connection to PVC adapter actually has a gasket in it, so you can just snug that up. right onto the, uh, the hose fitting on top of the pump. And this is now the finished pump. I, I attached a rope to it also. I've got the hose connection, the three-way, and the two 45s. Now I'm going to suspend it on the rope, and I can adjust the height with the rope but it actually moves quite a bit of water and it covers a much wider area. Now, by the time I made this, the ice was all gone, uh, but you can see by the amount of water that it's moving, uh, it, it should do a much better job than their original configuration. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. By all means, check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. I've got a bunch of do-it-yourself nautical and boating related how-to projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.